chain link communities, building a sustainable future together, one chain link at a time. As a group, we strive to create a unique idea of a community that proved to be sustainable, cost effective, and ecologically friendly nationally and globally, whilst also catering for all different sizes and ages of families. The design for our multi general homes was inspired by the connection of chain links in the chain system. Each link is connected to its neighbours. Although the layout of our ideal community may not provide a visually physical link, the meaning and definition of the design strives to maintain a mental connection and sense of unity with the community. Uh, furthermore, on our design, it wasn't exactly specified here, but we need to mention that the parts in the houses, so the side bits here and the top floor, are all designated to one section of the family, one generation. So possibly the elderly or the grandparents could go here, the parents on the other side and the kids at the top as the accessibility is more su suited for them. However, it could be however the families need it to be because every family is different. After the first Moby Challenge, we were approached by a company called Tofiko about a new building material that they had developed for construction. It proves to be... What, mm, the, constru the construction industry is currently one of the largest pr producers of CO2 emissions. It is also slow, expensive, complicated and often poor standard. Tofiko aimed to go against these labels and provide something that was more environmentally friendly and worked easier and less expensive for building. From their website we pulled their benefits of their building material and decided that this was the type of material we were looking for to build an environmentally friendly home that could be constructed within a factory and transported to reduce um, on-site time. Solar panels are our main source of individual power for our homes. With the clever design of our rotating top floors, our solar, pan our solar panels can always be facing the sun to maximise their efficiency of converting the sun's heat into energy. Furthermore, our windows will also have our windows will also have solar cells within them to enhance the use of environmentally friendly energy production. Currently, solar cells in windows only have an efficiency of 8%. However, we predict that in 2030, the efficiency will have risen by a respectable amount. In the middle of our communities is a central battery powered by the solar panels of each house. A small fraction of the power from each house charges the battery, which then stays charged to power houses, which may have some problems or maintenance to their solar panels. Or even just from a cloudy day, the battery will ensure that our homes do not go without power any day of the year. Our underground water system would draw latent heat out of the water in the well under each house to help, prevent, to help provide heat. This would draw its power from the solar panels or battery. It would also have the effect of providing very cold water for drinking. The water runoff from the green roof would filter its way down to the well because it would be below the water table. But below the water table, there should be a constant leaching of water filtered through the ground, keeping the levels up. The roof garden will be built on a filtration system that will allow rainwater to be used for things like flushing toilets and other uses that do not entitle it to be drinking water. The roof is slightly slanted on the top floor to ensure that the water runs off quickly and into the drain pipe as shown. This water will also go through the filtration system in place, however excess water will be transferred to the soil in the ground, ready for use in an underground well and heating system. Back of our ground floors and the top and the front of our top floors, we have designed full length windows to provide as much natural daylight as possible, reducing the need for artificial lights to be on excessively within the home. Due to our movable walls, areas of windows could automatically zone off or become opaque. This and this could possibly be achieved with a weak electrical connection and a sensor grid on the inside of the window. Plastic roads are made entirely of plastic or of com composites of plastic with other materials. Studies show plastic waste can last three times more than usual materials used for roads today, such as tarmac. They produce lower transportation and labour costs, and moreover they reduce flooding and incidences of potholes. 
Plastic offers lots of advantages both in construction and in the maintenance of roads. It is a maintenance free, it is a maintenance free product, barely wearing. The material is impervious to weather and plastic is resistant to heavy frost and extreme heat. Minus 40 degrees or 80 degrees above zero for plastic roads will be no such problem. So these roads and pavements will be more environmentally friendly for our community as a whole. Glow in the dark road markings have been unveiled on a 500 metre stretch on a highway in the Netherlands. The paint contains a photoluminescent compound that charges up in the daytime and slowly releases a, glow, a green glow at night, restricting the need for street lamps. Glowing lines use luminescent paint that is charged by solar energy during the day, then glows up for up to 10 hours when it gets dark, meaning that the road markings have a higher visibility than those using standard paint while still requiring electricity. In Swind the Swindon Council put a budget of £100,000 aside for a stop at the cycle lane in 2017 after the successful trials in Cambridge, showing that there is a thirst for such technology. These worked so well that we decided that they would be more efficient and a better use of later technology than street lamps. And that is our PowerPoint.